Super Glaze is an epoxy resin that you can pick up at your local hardware store. It comes in two parts, part A a resin and part B an activator. You're going to need a container, some mixing sticks, and some foam brushes for the application. Start off by pouring one of the parts into a container. You need to mix a 1 to 1 ratio. I used the entire bottle, so I dumped part A completely in, then dumped part B on top of it. Afterwards, you're going to need to mix it, but you don't want to incorporate too many bubbles, so do a gentle mixture. The first mixing is for three minutes. Once you're done with that, you're going to pour it into a secondary container where you'll mix it again for a solid three minutes. That's a total of six minutes of mixing. After six minutes, it should start looking clear like this. Then take it to your project. This is a self-leveling resin, but you should still spread it around with a foam brush or a squeegee. You have to be quick about it though, because you only have 25 minutes before the components start setting up. After you've spread it across your project, take a heat gun and lightly go over the surface to pop any of the bubbles. We tried this resin over several different surfaces, including this painted canvas, and this pallet wood table, which was comprised of oak, pine, and mahogany. The smoothest finish resulted on the painted canvas because it was sealed and few air bubbles came up. The worst application was on the tile because there were so many holes in it that air bubbles were produced all over it, and I had to go over the heat gun several times. Even though I was sure to finish off the pallet wood table with a nice sand job, it still ended up being rather bumpy. I had to put two coats on it to get the high gloss smooth finish. One way to avoid having to do multiple full coats is to do a light, very thin coat to start off with, and it kind of seals the surface that you're going to be epoxying. This helps to prevent air bubbles from rising up from underneath. Overall, I'm really impressed with how easy this thing is to apply. And for $24, I'm definitely using this in future builds.